all right first of all we need to work for connect button whenever you put the data source user id and password then we can make the connection after making connection we will get the all databases so code for connect i want to zoom in 130 percent okay so first of all i need to add one namespace using system dot data dot sql client okay and i need to declare some private variable this is for sql connection second one private sql command then private sql data reader and finally i need to declare a sql variable a string variable sql okay so whenever button connect is click then try and catch block okay so first of all i need to make connection string string connection string so connection string equal data source is okay so we need to give this text box name so this is text data source text user id text password this is combo revises text backup file log location text is to file location okay so data source is database data source dot text then user id equal user id dot text semicolon password text password dot text this is connection string ok then connection ql new connection with connection string then connection open now we need to we need to execute a query that will retrieve all the databases from the um, data source so sql equal ex ec execute sp underscore databases this is basically a, a store procedure which will return all the databases from the data source so command equal new sql command first parameter is sql query then second one is connection then reader equal command dot execute reader so 
common databases combo databases items initially clear then while reader dot read we need to add items to the combo box all right so we can check it run the application then give the data source in my case my data source bsc user id sa password bsc connect yeah this is my all databases so including master model msdb and temp db if you wanna exclude these four databases you can so in this case you need to modify the sql query so in this case i need to make another query which is select star from sys databases d where d dot database id greater than 4 because we have 4 system databases now run the application password then connect yeah now we have our custom databases only so after connecting we need to disable this you can disable this text box so how can you do that after connection completed you can text data source enable false text password enable false text user id enable false and button connect enable false only button disconnect should be true all right so whenever you click the disconnect button in this case we need to enable these three text boxes and um, this combo box and this backup button and register, register button so text data source enable false enable true text user id enable true text password enable true and combo box combo databases enable false because we don't have any connection we are disconnected in this case it will be disabled whenever it is connected with databases in this case it will be enabled and backup and restore button also so button backup or enable false button restore enable false so whenever we are connected in this case the button backup should be enabled button restore should be enabled now we can test it Never 
connected so in this case we have the databases and we now can backup and restore however disconnected we don't have any databases and the backup button and restore button so in the load event we have to um, disable this disconnect button not a group box disconnect enable false whenever it is connected and as well as this combo box and buttons also backup false restore false when it is connected then this connect button will be enabled ok now let's code for backup databases so backup message box let's show first of all I need to check databases existed or not text compared to blank in this case I need to pull up a message please select a database then return from this function if the database is selected from the combo boxes then we need to add the code so connection equal new connection with connection string then connection open and we need the SQL query which is backup database then database name which is combo database dot text to disk equal in between single quotation text backup file location dot text then we need to add double slash plus database name which is combo box from the combo box text then you can add a dash sign then date time ticks to a string plus then I wanna add dot PAK file extension that's it so this is a SQL query backup database database name to disk equal file location with database name and with extension ok so now execute this query so command equal 
new SQL command SQL with connection command execute non query and message box that show successfully backup completed all right so run the application and browse we need to code for browse okay browse in this case we need to select the file location that means folder browse folder location where it should be kept so folder browsing dialog dlg equal new folder browser dialog if dlg show dialog equal dialog result ok then backup file location the text equal dlg dot selected path so run the application click browse now you can select the location that's it ok so we can test a operation as a brc connect after connection completed you need to enable this combo box so after connection completed combo database enable true bsc sa i want to backup this employee database and location d drive backup file backup successful database backup completed so this is the database which i have taken backup right now all right disconnect hmm.